Good morning, everyone. Uh, Bronson, can I get a quick screen check for you? You're good to go. All right. We're doing a PowerPoint presented in Teams. Uh, new technology for all of us. Hopefully everything works nice and smoothly today, but if it doesn't, we can always switch over to regular PowerPoint. Um, I want to thank you all for joining me today. Really excited. Uh, this comes up every year. Uh, called Home Valuation Week, uh, powered by BuySide. Our wonderful vendors at BuySide um, do this big campaign around a single week during the year just to try to encourage people to check their home value, try to generate seller leads during the spring market, um, try to make sure that you're keeping in touch with your sphere and your clients, and this happens to be a great way to do it. Uh, just as a reminder for this class, uh, we do have um, our wonderful training assistant in here today, Haley. She's going to be keeping an eye on the chat and any hand raises that you might have. Um, if you have any questions, just go ahead and put them into chat or raise your hand and she can interrupt me um, or we can take a break between sections. There are three sections in here and a little bit of bonus content for you. Um, so we can we can take a break after each section of slides here if need be. Uh, just as a reminder, you all have access to uh, the Buy Side tool by logging into rwtconnect.com and clicking the Buy Side button right from the main dashboard. That should take you right into the Buy Side admin or agent dashboard. If for whatever reason you get an error message that says that you can't log in, it's usually because your email address in RWT Connect and your email address in the Buy Side tool may not match. If you just send a quick email over to web support at rwtown.com, we'll be happy to get that fixed for you so that you can go ahead and use the single sign on directly from RWT Connect. Uh, just as a matter of quick housekeeping here, um, this is being recorded. If you would like to make sure that your cameras are off, it'll give us a nice clean recording to use in the future. If you'd like to keep them on, that's fine, but just know that your happy smiling face will be in our training class in perpetuity um, on our YouTube channel. We will have this recording up and running um, in our uh, both our training library and our YouTube channel um, after this class. It may be tomorrow, depending on how long this goes, um, but also this deck will be available for you in um, RWT Connect this afternoon as well, because we're gonna go over a bunch of tips and tricks that you might wanna take with you. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So again, we are working on Home Valuation Week for 2024. This has been a really positive experience for all of us to be able to spread the message about people's home equity, what's going on in the market. There's been a lot of questions. Um, it has a really positive effect on not only just communicating with our clients, but also generating those leads. For once, I'm not dealing with a clicker today. I'm usually in front of a big crowd. So the reason, one of the reasons that we do this is because of the different changes in the market. Now, every year that I present this, um, I have a completely different slide on here. This slide was very different in 2019. It was very different in 2020, 21, 22, 23, and here we are at 2024. So we do home valuation week for lots of, again, different reasons, but for 2024, this is what we're looking at in the market. Hopefully those of you who have had a chance to catch some of our national speakers, uh, those of you who went to the convention have probably heard a bunch of the predictions for 2024, also in the news everywhere, but we're looking at differences in mortgage rates and inflation. We're not quite sure where those are going. Um, we have some predictions here, but a lot of people have questions around um, the mortgage rates when they're looking to buy. Also, we know that some sellers are sitting on their homes because they have great mortgage rates. And it's part of our conversation to encourage them to sell their home or give them other options. We, of course, have continued low inventory. For any of you who are working with buyers right now, as you know, we are still in a multi-offer situation on certain properties, but not in others. It's been a really interesting experience this spring, but what we do know is that we do not have enough inventory. Um, we are kind of at a stalemate right now on buyers and sellers. We have sellers, again, who are just sitting on their homes because there isn't enough available. We have buyers who need homes, but we have sellers who don't want to sell. And this stalemate is what is continuing our inventory problems in our area. We do have some confusion in the marketplace. We are not sure, again, where things are going. Um, they're not sure about what's going on with uh, some of the national news that they have seen. They're, you know, they're hearing different things about, again, those interest rates. They're hearing different things about the realtor role. They're hearing lots of different, um, they're hearing lots of different chatter about real estate and their homes in the news and in the market right now. And part of 
our goal is to be that guide for them, to be that trusted advisor that we've always talked about, that forever agent, to have those conversations about selling their home or home values. Now, it doesn't mean that they're going to sell today, and that's okay. Sometimes we just need to open the door of those conversations to just fill our pipeline for a couple, even months or years down the road. But the whole point of this is to have that conversation and to try to clear up some of the confusion about what's going on in our markets. We also want to encourage people to uh, leverage the positive equity in their home. Really interesting fun fact, um, in our DMA in general, um, it we have an average of uh, move time of about 12 years. Um, you would think it would be lower because of the military, but when you actually run the numbers, it's about 12 years. That does change, and I haven't seen the numbers from last year yet, but the last time I ran it was about that. A lot of the national training will say people move about every seven years, um, but we're just slightly longer than that, which means we're also sitting on a lot of inventory that has positive equity. We're also sitting on a lot of people in our area, in our, in our DMA or uh, demographic market, that um, do not have mortgages, so they don't have to worry about those interest rates. We are also fortunate to be members of multiple MLSs that provide us with lots of different tools to help us determine where that equity is. Um, if you are members of RAIN or NCR MLS or Richmond, you have access to a couple of the tools that are built into those MLS systems. And for anybody who is, of course, a realtor, which should be everybody in this room, we do have access to RPR, which is also going to give us some reports and be able to generate some of those lists um, to show what kind of equity people might have in their home, to show what the different mortgage rates are, to show people who might be um, more apt to move. Um, lots of lots of different tools that are available to us, either through the MLS or, of course, by virtue of just being a realtor. But what we do know right now, it is, is time to engage the sellers. Uh, we need this inventory. Uh, we need to identify people who are willing to sell. We only have a limited piece of pie in our area for those sellers. And of course, we want to have the largest bite, even though it is certainly well beyond Thanksgiving. Um, I want the biggest piece of the pie, and I know you guys too. And part of that is getting in front of the market and getting in front of these sellers, getting in front of your sphere, getting in front of your contacts, and just trying to um, make those connections and trying to engage those sellers. One of the more interesting stats in here is that in 2023, agents participating in the National Home Value Week generated $4 billion in potential sales volume in that week alone. Here's an interesting thing about buy side. Um, on the administrative side, which I know you guys don't get to see, but I do, um, we actually get a report quarterly from buy side that actually tracks what's going on in the market. It knows if a home valuation has come into our entire system and then whether that house ended up being listed either by our company or by the agent um, whose site it came in on. It also lets us know that we've had some missed opportunities. That's a great way for us to be able to uh, tweak our training a little bit or to be able to have a one-on-one -on -one appointment to make sure that we are really presenting that listing presentation where we need it to be. Um, the interesting thing for us too is that we also get an ROI report on this. So it does show us uh, what our return on investment was based on the listings, based on any missed opportunities, and it tracks it over time. So even though we get this quarterly, we can actually see year over year the benefits of having that home valuation site in the public and also making sure that you're running things like the buyer market analysis and taking those to your listing presentations. We see real value in buy side in the home value sites in the home value marketing suite, um, and hopefully you guys do too. So this is what we're going to talk about today. Um, it's going to be about engaging our sellers and the different ways that we can do that. We're going to talk about those geographical spheres. We're going to talk about that social sphere. We're going to talk about existing clients, and we're going to break it down into a couple of different ways to communicate. We're going to talk about social posts. We're going to talk about those monthly reports that you can do. We're going to talk about um, engaging our sellers with some of our additional resources because we know that Home Value Week needs to extend well beyond April 1st through 5th. Um, we need to be having these conversations um, with our sellers throughout the lifetime of our client relationship with them. 
And of course, this is the big question that we get. The nice thing about all this tracking that we do is that we do know that the highest month with a conversion rate for talking to an agent through this system is May. So this is us getting ahead of this right now by having Home Value Week um, in April. We want to make sure that we're getting that messaging out. We're starting to plant those seeds. We want to make sure that when it is time for somebody to talk uh, to an agent that you are already ahead of them, they've already seen your postings, they're already finding your information valuable, you're already sending them information because when that conversion rate comes up in May, we want to make sure that you're there and you're positioned correctly. So let's get into kind of the, the meat of Home Value Week and we'll get into some plans, we'll get into some samples and things like that. We're not going to just leave you high and dry about just post your Home Value site and hope for the best. We actually have a couple of plans for you. You can, of course, uh, change these plans. You can use some of this information if you'd like, um, or you can change it to, to fit your own market um, ideas and plans. So let's talk about social posts. This is probably one of the easiest things that we can do. The nice thing about sharing your home value site is that each and every one of you has an individual site. So it should say the generalized um, URL and then it'll say slash and then usually it's your name. Um, it is whatever name, believe it or not, is your username in RWT Connect. It's one of the reasons we use your real names in full as your user logins into RWT Connect. Uh, but each and every one of you have your own URL. When you post that URL to social, if it is something that can generate a photo, something like a Facebook, um, it is going to go ahead and insert an image already that says we have buyers, um, do you need to sell, something like that, so that it's automatically going to have a photo for you in the system. Makes it nice and easy to sell, and we're actually going to give you a couple of ideas here on some things that you can post and some scripts that you can use. One of the things, um, the question that comes up fairly often is when is the best time to post for the core five networks? Uh, this will be available for those of you who want to screenshot it. Now would be a good time. So these are the best times to post on those different networks. Every single one of these networks also allows you to have scheduled posts if you are posting in a professional account. If you're not, you may have to set an alarm <laughs> to let yourself know to remind you to post during those hours. But these are the different hours that um, are the best times to post. I want you to notice that it varies greatly from system to system. So you may want to just go ahead and tailor your post. The nice thing about this is that we have uh, Soshi, which we can all use. It's available through BHHS uh, resource and you are able to go ahead and schedule posts. So if you wanted to go ahead and schedule your Facebook post for 9 a.m. and then you wanted to schedule a post maybe to your X account, which is formerly Twitter, um, maybe at noon. Go ahead and schedule your LinkedIn post for when people are home uh, in the evenings. Maybe you want to go ahead and post that for 6 p.m. You can go ahead and change all of that information and you can post them individually on Sochi as much as you'd like. So one of the things we want to do again, we want to be visual. We want to share these. Uh, we want to share the images when we're using buy side. We don't want to just go ahead and put up a um, link if possible. Not everything is going to support that, um, but where possible, make sure that you're putting up some kind of image and it can be anything. It can be um, if you're doing some specific uh, things with a neighborhood, it might be an interesting neighborhood post. Um, it can be something, a graphic that says how much is your home worth? We have lots of different options. You want to monitor and socially listen for individuals who are looking to buy or sell their home. If you've taken any of my additional training on social media, you know that I am a big proponent on making sure that you are front and center and visible in things like neighborhood groups um, or in um, if you're in things like next door, you want to make sure that you are in those neighborhoods that you like to farm. You'll see a lot of people who might post about moving. Um, it's a really interesting thing too to see when people are getting ready to do things like garage sales and when you see people selling a lot of furniture on Facebook Marketplace, um, when you see your friends and family kind of, you know, cleaning house or maybe asking for recommendations about different vendors or, you know, different service people. Those are things that you can monitor and socially listen for for people who might be thinking about buying and selling their home. That's an interesting time to go ahead and just post and remind people. Um, and also you can certainly comment and send people your link to your home value site. Also for those uh, social channels that take hashtags, uh, this week feel free to use uh, hashtag NHVW or NHVW 2024 for na National Home Value Week. But in addition to that, make sure that you're using your hashtags 
that are really common and popular for things like selling their home or real estate. And of course, you can certainly add any of your own unique hashtags if you like to hashtag your own information um, and also use your hashtags for BHHS as well. So we do have a plan. Um, Want to give you a couple of samples that we can do. Um, this is going to give you a weekly plan for social media that just kind of goes into all the different pieces that you might want to um, send out and different value statements for your home value site. So on Monday, we just want to talk about the home value week. Um, this is just an introduction. It's it's kind of an event, if you want to put it that way. Um, and it just kind of tries to encourage people to and to generically just get the value of their home. It talks about what is National Home Value Week. Um, sometimes by making it an event, it makes it an actionable item versus just posting how much is your home worth. This is National Home Valuation Week. You can make it really exciting. Um, you can make it something, again, that you're providing that item of value. Tuesday, we can talk about discussing the market. This is where we start to get into um, you as that trusted advisor, as that person who's going to know the market. Don't forget that in each of our home value reports, we have lots of different sections that are available. And one of the things that we can talk about in the market are those heat maps that we have available in that report. We can talk about the recent listings and sales. There's lots of different trends in that report as well. So it's going to just let people know that not only are you getting that how much is your home worth, you're going to get those values, but you're also going to be able to get this other information about market trends. This starts to introduce um, the idea that you can also add your own trends in here, add your own thoughts. Again, these are just sample posts. If you want to mention what's going on in the market, maybe you have some stats that you'd like to use or you found some interesting information, certainly go ahead and change the post and add that information in here. We certainly want everybody to be able to have this in their own voice. We're just trying to give you some ideas on how you can structure your home value week to make sure that it's not too repetitive, but you're also covering all the different features of that report that's available. On Wednesday, we're going to focus on equity. We obviously know that this is going to be an important part of the conversation that's coming up this year. Um, this is going to talk about um, getting uh, the report uh, for your home value, but it's also going to talk about the value of having equity. I love the second one in here. Just saw these stats, so it makes it seem like a conversation. At retirement, 83% of the average U.S. homeowner's wealth will come from the home their home's equity, and there's $10 trillion in equity in the country right now. See how much equity you have today, and then go ahead and post your um, home value report that you have on there. Thursday, we're going to be discussing the uniqueness of the home value system. So this starts to get into the different aspects of the report, but it also starts to generate some ideas for you to post in specific neighborhoods or to specific people. This starts getting into things like um, targeting your farming and prospecting areas, targeting your sphere, um, starting to really have a, a deeper conversation with people to try to just tailor the messaging to those clients that you're working with. Notice that you'll see some of these in here. If you see anything that looks like a bracket um, and you copy and paste it in the future, just remember to go ahead and replace that with something. So uh, in this case, it's uh, calling for a neighborhood. So buyer demand is still surprisingly high in whatever. Um, if you don't have a neighborhood farm, consider maybe replacing this with a city or a generalized area. Um, buyer demand is still surprisingly high for condos. It doesn't necessarily have to be an area either. Um, so just think about tailoring those messages down uh, just to talk about some of the unique um, aspects of the home value site and how it can be used. And our ideas for Friday are just to keep it short and simple, just kind of wrap up the week. Hopefully people will have seen four individual posts for you, maybe more, about the uh, National Home Value Week and the uh, and all the value statements that you've given, this is where you can just po post something nice and short and sweet. The other reason to do this is that you'll notice that some of the other posts are a little bit longer. We also know that things like the Facebook algorithm, for example, do pick up shorter posts from time to time just because it's an easier read for people. This gives you the opportunity to not only have kind of that short read, pick up somebody who might be scrolling really fast, but it might also get picked up in the algorithm a little bit differently. Um, based on the different kinds of posts that you've done. So this is a, just a nice wrap up just to keep it short and simple. This is the end of National Home Value Week, but of course it should not be the end of posting about your home value suite.
I have a bunch of these today. Guess what? Um, on Wednesday, we have asked you to post about the equity that might be in someone's home, and you might be saying to yourself, well, how can I provide that? We have added the equity component to our buy side reports. We're going to take a look at this live as soon as we're done here. Uh, you are welcome to try it on your own right now. So we have a brand new section in all of our reports that when people run it off our home value site, it's going to say my equity. And what this is doing is it is pulling in the equity. This is available from the public remarks This are public uh, record. So this is not something that that we have contrived here. It is pulling in from the public record. Hopefully it's accurate. If it's not, it does allow people to edit the details of this, but it is bringing in the public record that says you have a 30 year loan at 2.81% for 230, uh, 237,500. Um, and it was from October 2020. So these people bought in 2020. And here's an estimated loan balance of whatever it is. And then it's going to take those values that it generated and it's going to take that range and say what kind of equity these people might actually have in their home. We know that even from 2020, we're four years beyond this now. Well, three and a half for these guys. Um, the amount of equity in a home in the last three years is incredible. Um, and I don't think people realize that even though they're, they're sitting on a 2.81 in this case, the amount of equity that they have and their buying power that they have with that equity. We think this equity component is going to be a huge boon for you to be able to have those conversations and talk to people. Um, the nice thing about this equity component and again, it's available on, on all of the different sites. Um, it's on all of our home value. If somebody does not have a mortgage, it is still going to give them that equity component. It's just going to give them the estimated equity that is essentially going to be 100% of that average of those values that is pulled up. Just as a reminder for everything in this system, notice where you say see things like edit details and things like that. Anytime somebody is on your home value site and wants to edit the details or make it their own or claim something, all of those are lead generators. They have to give you information in order to change that. So we want people to be able to go ahead and look this up. And even if it's not accurate, and for the most part, we have found just about all of them that we have pulled up as, as accurate, unless it's a special circumstance for whatever reason, and we do know those things exist, um, that people could go ahead and edit those details if they needed to for whatever reason. But also that's a great way to generate leads and to claim. So that is brand new. We just installed the equity component. You guys are the first to see it. So thank you for coming to the live training today. And for those of you who might be watching this as a pre-record, um, do know that this is available to you as well. These guys just got a sneak peek at it today for coming this morning. Did anybody have any questions on the social post section before I move on? All right, let's keep going. So the next thing I want to talk about is the monthly report. So we know um, that people like to get this kind of information and we want to keep this conversation going. One of the aspects of that home value site and the home value report that people get is that they have the opportunity to sign up for a monthly report. We want them to do this because this continues the conversation without them having to go back to your site and running this again. It also puts your name and your face and your information in front of them on a monthly basis. It's a, it's a um, point of contact. And we know that the information is really valuable. We also know that the market changes a lot um, and that this report becomes valuable because it can change month to month. So what it will do is we'll actually send out that um, a monthly version of that report um, each and every month. OK, we had a quick question on here, and that was about where can we find the home value site, if I'm not mistaken? Um, yes, if you log into RWT Connect and you click on buy side, you'll see the home marketing suite at the very top, and you'll be able to click on the preview of the site, and it'll take you to your own and individual site for um, buy side. So we want people to go ahead and subscribe. Here's the fun thing. You can subscribe people on your own as well. So if you're having a conversation with somebody and maybe they're not quite ready to sell their home yet, you can just go back to the office and say, hey, 
I'll be happy to go ahead and put you into the system. I'm going to send you this monthly report. Maybe you've taken the BMA to a listing presentation. They're not quite ready. Um, and you can go ahead and sign them up if you have their first name, last name, and an email address. And then you can let them know that you've signed them up for that monthly report and that that way they're receiving this report. So it's kind of similar to setting up a seller's report. This is just kind of a pre-seller's report, if you want to call it that. So all you would have to do is actually run their address on your home valuation site if you wanted to. And then you could go ahead and get this monthly report option. It's right at the very top of the screen. You'll see it there in the red box. You'll just put in their first name, last name, and email address. You can do this for anyone you have the right to, to email blindly in your system. So those of uh, you have a business or a transactional relationship with or have given permission um, to get these reports. So you do have the option to have this. This is great for those incubating clients or even past clients. Um, you know, we're always looking for something to send to people that's just about their home or about the area, but it's something that is actionable if they need it to be, but it's just good information otherwise. So if you do have a list of past clients that you know, maybe they bought even just, you know, two years ago, they're, you know they're not going to be ready to sell. Still a great item just to be able to give them just so they can stay on top of things. And it's very nosy neighbor. People love to know about the value of their own home, but they also like to see sales and things like that going on around them. Um, and they love to check the value of their home. So this is a great way to just go ahead and provide that information so they don't pop over to Zillow and take a look for themselves. We're going to give you a couple of email templates too. I know this is going to be a little bit small on some of your screens today, but I promise it's a good email. Um, this is an email that you can send to people if you have subscribed them. So they haven't subscribed themselves. You've gone in and subscribed them. And this is just a nice, again, generalized email template. You can change it any way you want to. And remember, anytime you're seeing these brackets, make sure that you're replacing any of that information. So this one just happens to say housing prices from around the country have been changing to help our clients understand the changing market. We recently purchased new technology that shows the valuation of your home, along with other relevant information. You can say new technology for sure, because we just added the equity component to it. Included in this report are, here's the things that are included. And you'll be receiving this monthly report shortly via email. So this is something that you'll want to send to your clients before you pop them into the system. And you'll be able to unsubscribe at the bottom of the email. So we do have complete can, can spam compliance. As always, if you have any questions regarding the housing market or more need more in-depth information on your home or other properties, don't be shy to contact me. And again, you can change that to be in your own verbiage, but we wanted to give you just a kind of a, a little template, a little script to be able to get you started about subscribing your own clients to the monthly report. This is a sample of the email that they're going to get from Percy. Remember, uh, buy side is actually owned by the company Percy. So you'll see these terms interchangeably in here. And it says, dear whoever, as part of my ongoing service to you, you've been subscribed to receive a personalized monthly report containing valuable information to empower you to make smarter financial decisions when it comes to your home. And it's going to pop in their address. This report will show you multiple valuations, market trends, activity around your home, and much more. We are here if you have any questions about your home, and it's going to have your branding on it. Of course, that is coming from the roster sync that we have with RWT Connect into the buy side system. And it's going to be, um, and there's going to be a button on here that says view your monthly report. So the question came up just now of where can we get these email templates? Uh, once we get through this class, we'll go ahead and load uh, this deck so that you can copy and paste some of these email templates um, if you would like into your own e-cards. This is the email that they will get in the future. So the first one that we I showed you was the email template that you would send pre-signing up your sellers just to let them know it's coming. That email I just showed you is the one that they're going to get from the system once you have subscribed them. It's the initial email that says, hey, you're an amazing agent. Just signed you up for this monthly report, and this is what you're going to get. After this, every time they get their monthly report, it's going to look like this. So it's going to say, dear, your seller or your homeowner client, whatever, um, your report for this address is, is ready. There's that button that says view your report. And here's where it says uh, this is what you're going to get. And then, of course, it's going to be branded to you. It's really nice and simple. Um, and they can click that report. You'll be and they'll be able to get essentially a new version of that um, that home value system. I missed that question. Haley, can you grab that for me? Yes. Uh, 
When you load the deck, where do we find the deck on RW Town? It's going to be under the marketing section. All right. I told you I was full of surprises today. So um, I have more for you with the monthly report. And this is brand new. So again, thank you for coming to my live uh, thing this morning so that you can get the first looks at some of our new technology that is coming uh, with our buy side tools. You too can import those subscriptions. Now, I am going to preface this with saying you need to have permission to be able to send these if you're going to do an import of a subscription. But you do need to have the first name, last name, physical address. You have to have a full physical address for that subscription um, to be able to work properly and an email address. So you're going to need everything that you would have needed if you had to put them in individually. But if you do have a group of uh, maybe past sellers or people that you are actively incubating. These are people who might be really warm. You have the right to contact them because they have a business transaction or relationship with you or have given you permission to do it. Um, this is where you can import those subscriptions and it will be based on a Excel spreadsheet. If you click on that import subscription, it's going to go ahead and give you uh, the instructions to be able to do that. But you do have the ability to import those subscriptions in bulk if you need to. This is great if you are getting ready um, to to take your old list and kind of put it in for the first time. After that, you might be able to go one on one. It's also a great way to be able to put somebody in maybe after an open house weekend where you have some more information and things like that. And you just want to do a quick bulk upload into the system. I just want to remind you, however, that really you do need to have permission to contact people. Do not buy lists and blindly send them uh, monthly reports. You will get marked as spam. We will get marked as spam. And then we will lose the feature to have the import subscriptions, um, which is a really valuable piece, uh, piece for everyone. So I'm just going to go ahead and put um, that warning out there. Does the system prevent duplication? It does not. Um, we do know that our agents work with lots of different clients and customers. Um, some people might work with one agent because they're buying their primary home on uh, the south side, and they may work with another agent because they work, um, they are buying a second home or a vacation home in the Outer Banks. So we do know that there is duplication among our agents. Um, in their clientele, a lot of it is because they have different reasons to buy. Usually it is primary and investor or just different geographical areas. Um, so we actually don't deduplicate any of our systems currently, um, just so that we leave those options open for people. Did anybody have any questions about the monthly reports before I move on? I think this is a really exciting thing to be able to do monthly reports and to be able to uh, get all of our subscribers in there for you guys. It's just another point of contact, and it's a great point of contact to have. All right, moving on. Email templates. Everybody wants these. Um, I know that it's hard to know what to say sometimes. Um, you know, you're you're in you're great in front of people, but you're not necessarily in the business of writing formal letters to people. Um, we are going to give you a whole bunch of different ideas here for email templates and for different reasons. So these are going to be based on different scenarios, um, different client niches, things like that that you might want to use. And again, this is here just to give you an idea. We are going to give you some things for maybe some of your warm clients. These are going to be some of the um, more formal formal or informal, um, but what it is, is it's just going to give you some ideas. You don't have to use them. You might use some, you might use part. Heck, I've used some of these email templates and just grabbed a sentence or two to use in my social posts, um, but we're going to give you at least some templates just to kind of get you started, get the, get the brain flowing here. So these are for things like incubating sellers. So these are existing leads that are not ready to sell. This would be a great opportunity uh, for sellers that you've sold to recently or people that you know are definitely not going to sell anytime soon. Um, and it's just a nice soft opening. So, and then we're gonna give you subject lines in here too. You can certainly change those. And I'm just gonna remind you again, anytime that you see any of these brackets, make sure that you're filling in your own information in here. So, hi, so-and-so. Um, I hope this email finds you well. I know that you are not interested in selling your home quite yet. This week is actually National Home Valuation Week, which is when homeowners take inventory of the value of one of their largest assets. The week is an opportunity to review market trends, comparative rates, and importantly, get a better understanding of the value of your home. 
you can type in your address and get three different valuations to get a full idea of your home's value here. So that's going to be your link. Or I can subscribe you to a monthly report to stay on top of the local market. Happy to help in any way. Again, this is just a point of contact. The nice thing is, um, because this is going to be hopefully sent to one of your clients that you already have in your CRM, if they happen to run their address, you're going to know. I'm going to give you a couple more in here too. Here's our incubating buyers. So these are existing leads that are not ready to buy. Again, these are that cl those clients that you know might buy with you in the future. They're existing clients that buy with you every time they buy. Maybe they're just not quite ready yet. We're going to give you that kind of soft touch there. Hope this email finds you well. I know that you're not interested in buying a home quite yet. This should sound pr pretty familiar. It's going to go into the home value week. So then just changes the message a little bit. So whether it is your home or a home you're interested in, or even someone in your family's home, so we're expanding that net now, you can type in your address and get three different valuations to get a full idea of your home's value. There's your link. Or I can subscribe you to receive a monthly report to stay on top of the local market. Happy to help in any way. I love this email for extending that fishing net for prospecting to be your home, friend's home, family's home, somebody's home. This is great when you're sending to um, to different people that might be like, I know that I'm going to have to sell mom and dad's home in the next couple of years. You know, they might have looked at the value of their own home, but maybe they haven't looked at the value of their parents' home yet. Um, you know, that opportunity is coming up. So they might go ahead and uh, check the value of something like that. It just kind of a little trigger, little point of contact uh, just to have them start checking other values as well. I love this email. Uh, sphere of influence. Notice that this one is labeled for formal. So this is going to be that formal form letter here. And again, you can use these in any way you want to. If you want to use these as part, partly for social posts or if these are make great scripts as well, if you're planning on calling some people as well. Hope this finds you well. This week is unique. It's home valuation week and here's what you get. So whether uh, it is your home or a home you're interested in or someone in your family, again, casting that net um, or I can subscribe you to that monthly report. So what it's done is it's removed. I know you're not ready to sell. I know you're not ready to buy. This is more of kind of an overall email that just talks about National Home, Home Valuation Week and tries to encourage them to use it. Nice thing is, is that we do actually include a follow up for you as well. Just wanted to send a quick follow up. What's my home worth in this market is something I have been hearing a lot lately. To help navigate this uncertainty, I have a service that can provide three different valuations to you to get a better idea. Here's a link which will provide you with an instant report. So this is just a short and sweet follow up. It's not formal. It's just like you're talking to a friend. It's a great thing to send at the end of the week. Remember when we said short and simple? Sometimes they might have ignored that first initial email, but this is something nice and sweet and short um, that they might take a look at. Also just gives you another touch point for the home valuation week. So there's that uh, same email that you just saw. I wanted to include it in this section just in case somebody missed it in the other one. Uh, but this is for enrolling somebody in those monthly reports. So this is just telling them that you are going to enroll them in that monthly report. This is the one that you would send out. Um, before the email goes out from the system, just to let them know that you have um, signed them up for this. However, we also have emails that ask them to enroll in the marketing um, in the in the monthly report. So this is a very different thing from just checking the home value. We're actually going beyond that again into these monthly reports, which again I I find is a very unutilized um, and underappreciated part of the system. Um, but we want to ask them to enroll instead. I hope this email finds you well. This week is unique. Here's the what we get for home valuation week. So whether it's your home or whatever, I can un, I can subscribe you to a monthly report to stay on top of the local market. So if you have a group of people that you do not know whether they can sign up, um, that you know that you can't communicate with to necessarily sign them up with a report, or these are people who might be on the fringes, um, might feel that might be a little bit intrusive, great way to have that ask. You can also use that ask again in some of your local Facebook um, neighborhood groups and things like that, just a way to ask that they, um, if they want to receive that monthly report, that you can certainly do it for them. And we're just going to provide you with that informal follow-up as well if you need it. And again, asking to enroll that informal follow up that's just slightly different. Did anybody have any questions about those email templates? Or some of the things to say now again, just use these for inspiration. You don't necessarily have to copy and paste them. Make sure you're putting your own spin on it. Make sure it's in your own voice. Want to make sure that it sounds like you and a way that you would normally communicate with your sphere and your your clients and your neighborhoods.
All right, well, if there's no additional questions, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my last section, which is additional resources. So this goes beyond home valuation week. So this is beyond April 1 through 5. Wanted to let you know about all the things that you have available to you to have this conversation all year round. We know that this is not a one time thing. Um, you know, I, I like to equate this to the old tire ads um, that you would see them in the newspaper or online or whatever every single week, but you would pretty much ignore them until you actually needed new tires. Kind of works the same way sometimes with selling your home. Sometimes you never know, they might not be in the market right now, but they might be in the market in the fall and you wanna make sure that you're continuing to have this conversation, continuing to put this item of value in front of them all the time because you never know when that trigger might happen. Um, you also never know when they might have that referral, a friend that they know is moving um, or someone uh, close to them, maybe friends or family um, that may need your assistance. Sometimes you just don't know if they have any questions about what's going on in the market. And again, this is the resources for you to have that year round conversation. So let's start with the RWT Connect email library. We do have a full set for sellers in the email library. You can go ahead and make sure that you're adding your unique home value site before sending that, um, that email. You'll be able to edit the emails at any time. There is a way to edit the message using the page editor, and you can just go ahead and drop that URL in there with a little call to action in your email library, but that's always available to you. We do add for, to this from time to time. Um, so you'll see some new emails available in here. The nice thing about the RWT Connect Library is it is schedulable. So if you do want to go ahead and schedule out maybe um, something for your sellers or kind of a how much is your home worth or a value statement about the monthly reports or about the equity report, you can certainly kind of build that out maybe every other month um, in between some of the other efforts that you have going. You can also get buyer match e-cards in the BHHS marketing resource. So they have, um, again, uh, ready to sell or ready to buy. We have buyers. BHHS itself does have a relationship with BuySide, and they actually call that product buyer match. It's exactly the same as ours. Um, but when you look up materials in BHHS marketing resource, it does want you to use the keyword buyer match. That's how you'll find it. But you can also use different things like home worth, home value, value report, that kind of thing, just to kind of find the different resources that are available. But these are the two top ones. Are you ready to sell? We have um, a match for you. Or looking to sell, we have a mat uh, buyer match for you. So lots of different things. The uh, e-cards in this system also have multiple photos for different things under each one of them. So you'll see that they may say four options or two options or things like that. You can actually scroll through. Um, some of these have interiors and exteriors. They might have overall neighborhood views. They have um, different people shots and things like that. So you should be able to customize these pretty well before you send them out. Something we haven't talked a lot about are digital ads. Um, you do have a full set of digital ads in marketing resource that you can actually customize. And then they run through Chalk Digital. Chalk Digital, of course, is the company that runs that free seven day ad for all of our new listings. But they also have advertising options to run in geographical areas and also against your sphere. So as long as you have um, some basic information, usually email address and street address is for the sphere. Um, and it can try to go against either one of those, or they do have options to run in geographical areas too, where you can get down to the street level if you needed to, um, to be able to run that. So there is a cost for this. Um, I'm not gonna be able to give you that cost today just because it has, the platform has lots of different options. You can certainly click the Chunk Digital box um, in RWT Connect. It'll take you right over there and you'll be able to see the different cost options available uh, for those two different programs. Um, I do want you to know that the Sphere ad is based on not only the number of contacts in the system, but also the number of contacts that it's able to reach. So for example, if you have a thousand contacts in your system and it can only verify the device or the location of 800 of them, that price will change because it's not gonna serve up um, that ad to 200 people that it can't find information for. So um, that's one of the reasons why it's difficult to do pricing on this, but do know that it is available. If you need help with any of that pricing, certainly let us know in marketing, marketing at rwtown.com. We'll be happy to help you run those numbers or at least formulate what it might be um, and help you get a budget going there. All right, let's take a look here. 
We also have core fact. For those of you who may have come to one of our earlier trainings uh, earlier this year, we do have a brand new company on board with us called core fact. They have a really, really unique opportunity here and they have a home value postcard set that specifically assigns a, U, a QR code to a particular address. So you know if somebody at that address is actually looking for the value of their home. So it is a little bit different than kind of sending something out blindly. This is amazing for people who are doing really heavy prospecting, people who have an established relationship um, with a neighborhood farm or a niche farm and things like that. Um, it is a really, again, a unique uh, program on here. One of the things that this does, though, is it does not go to your home value site on buy side. It, in order to make the tracking work for this, it does go to a unique URL that's developed by CoreFact. However, it works the same way. Um, and again, you would be able to have those monthly report options. You would be able to have that conversation. You can certainly transfer people um, from CoreFact as soon as you know that they have been looking for a home their home value over to the system, maybe sign them up for a monthly report or just um, or touch base with them as well. And of course, we have Express Docs. Um, this is, of course, one of our main vendors here um, with Express Docs this is who we do the majority of our printing and mailing through. They have an entire system called Stay in Touch Campaigns. It's a whole section on Express Docs. You can look it up and it'll say Stay in Touch. They're going to have lots and lots of different uh, postcards that you can send out that are related to home worth. So some of them focus on the fact that you have buyers so that we have that buyer match in the system. Some of them focus on the how much is your home worth side of it. So just getting those home values. These are just two examples. There are actually uh, multiple other examples in the system as well. But these are great to send out um, in between some of these other campaigns. So one of the interesting things that you have here is that you can um, certainly send out something like a direct mail postcard and maybe um, then you do an email campaign the next month and then you're also running digital ads on top of it, kind of covering everybody in that same space, um, but they're receiving it lots and lots of different ways. It's great for branding. Um, and it's great to do kind of a, a multi-channel marketing for them. I did miss that question. Haley, what's that question up there? If someone checks the value of their home, where do you go to see if they have subscribed on their on their onto the monthly report? So if somebody checks the value of their home, you're actually going to get a quick email from the system that says that somebody at 123 Main Street um, checked the value of their home. And it's going to give you the public record name. Um, so that may not be the person who checked. Remember, we've offered them to check uh, their own uh, home or friends or family or things like that. So it's just going to give you the public record. If they subscribe to the monthly report, you're going to get additional email that says somebody has subscribed to the monthly report and it's going to give you the information that they actually put into the system. Um, if somebody has edited or claimed their listing on there as well, so remember they, they might want to change an equity component or they might want to change the um, condition of their home in order to change those values, that's an additional email that you would get from the system to let you know that somebody claimed a home. Then you know it's that actual person as well. So one of the things I like to do, and that's actually a good question, a good segue for here. Um, if you're not sure who sent the um, home value request, again, it might be the owner, it might not. Um, one of my favorite campaigns I've seen is an agent who will send um, a stay in touch campaign like this and just blanket, you know, a long street with a minimum um, amount just to try to figure out who is actually sending that or knowing that somebody in that area is looking um, to get their home value or might be thinking about selling. They just kind of drop a, a really quick, easy campaign, a direct mail campaign into that area just to try to start talking about seller services. So another way to just kind of use that information, even if it's anonymous, um, to be able to, to stay in touch. You didn't think I was going to leave you hanging for more. Um, so I'm going to caveat this new news with the fact that we just got this um, and there are some rules that go with it. It is available for our teams. So here are the rules. You have to have a team account on rwtconnect.com. That means that you have to have an established team uh, meeting uh, with our, our marketing and web support teams to make sure that we've set up your team correctly. You also need to use a different email address for your team profile in your team dashboard than you do for your individual. Otherwise, it won't know where to send you. 
um, but you do have the option to have it branded for your team um, on your home value site for those of you who are using a team website and use the team dashboard already. Um, so if you try to log on to your team site from by side from your team dashboard and it gives you that login uh, error, it means that the email address is probably the same as the personal profile that you use in the system and it may not know where to go or it means that we haven't fully built out your team settings yet and that will need to be done. Um, I will say because this is a live uh, thing today. We are on spring break, which means that we are not necessarily shorthanded, but uh, we probably won't be doing team appointments again uh, until um, next week. So if you don't have an established team in there and you don't have a team dashboard or a team website, um, we will probably not be able to accommodate that for home value week, but do know that your individual site will work just fine for that. But just keep in mind that this is going to be an option for you in the future. We were really, really excited to be able to get this, um, but we we literally just got it at the 11th hour um, and we have not had a chance to do much with it, but I did want to introduce that for you today. Did anybody have any additional questions on National Home Value Week or using buy side or using some of this information? Happy to take some questions. No questions. All right. Well, I did promise you that we would take a look at that new equity component live, and I'm going to show you a couple things in here as well. So I'm going to do a quick screen share over to a live portion while we wrap up this class and I'm going to thank you in advance for being here today. All right, so here we are. I am on uh, a home value site. So this is going to be uh, for uh, this is actually Ralston's home home value site on here and I'm just going to go ahead and pop in a quick address here. Notice that as I start to type here, it's trying to match that address. And it, we can certainly go ahead and click that. So this happens to be for a home in Virginia Beach. Just want to point out a couple of features of the home value site. Remember, we talked about that signing up people for the monthly updates. You can certainly do that right here. So as long as you have popped in their address, so you're sending them a market report for this very specific address, and you can sign up uh, John Doe at his email address that belongs to this property. Um, that's where they would go ahead and um, get signed up for that monthly report. So again, they can do this or you can do this from your public facing site as well. Completely branded to you. Remember I said that anytime that uh, you see all those different buttons for claiming or changing, it means that it's a lead generator. They actually have to give you information, more information in order to be able to do it, like an email address or connecting socially. So you'll get more uh, information there. Scrolling down here, we're going to get that estimated home value. I want you to notice that this button is new to, fairly new to the system. And this is going to make sure that you and uh, your face and contact information stay top of mind as we scroll. Here's some home values. It's going to go ahead and try to pull in uh, the Google Street View of the neighborhood in the home. And again, these values are going to vary widely, and that's OK, because we want to make sure that you are labeled as the expert on here. Again, more contact information. What's the condition of the property? And again, if they're the owner and they want to claim this, they're going to have to click I'm the owner and have to give you more information. Here's that brand new equity component. So here's the equity in their home, verifying the mortgage detail. If they need, again, if they need to edit any of these details, they're going to have to give you more information in order to do it, or they can say all good. I'm going to go ahead and say all good. And then here's the estimated equity today, and then it's going to give them information about how this is um, how this is calculated, and it's going to give them the option again to contact you. I want you to take a look at this new equity component. This is amazing. So once you say this is all good, or if you've made some adjustments and you've said okay, this opens up to this what you've paid so far. So this is based on that information that they just verified. So there's your principal, there's your interest. Nice graphical form, all branded to BHHS, of course. Continues to be branded to you as well. Refinance options. And again, we're explaining all of this. So if they need to learn more about what's going on here, they can certainly do that. If they refinanced certain things, this is what might happen. And again, remember I said this is going to change all the time. So this, this information on this market report becomes more and more valuable. I love the fact that if the value does change or the equity in their home does change, it creates a sense of urgency to sell their home. 
So that's one of the reasons that um, I encourage you to sign up your people for the monthly reports. If you pay a little extra, how much faster can, can you get over your loan? How do you want to use your equity? This gives you lots and lots of different options for different things. You can buy a new home. We're going to start out right with you can buy a new home. You can sell and pocket the cash. I know a couple of friends who've done that already. Buy an investment property. You might have enough equity to be able to go ahead and buy an investment property or even make home improvements. There's a nice slider here that starts to give them more options. Remember, this isn't always all about selling their home. It's also about just giving them options for their real estate lifestyle in general. So we talk a lot about the forever agent program. And we talk about that life cycle of the agent and talking about talking to homeowners with those um, those guides to be able to say, where are you and what do you need to do with your real estate? Some people might not be in the space to sell. But they may be in the space to maybe add that extra bedroom or maybe uh, update their bathrooms or things like that. We're just giving them options. And this is all about home ownership just as much as it is about selling. This is that trusted advisor part. So eliminating credit card debt, they could splurge on a dream home or a dream vacation, sorry, or they could pay down student loans. So we have lots and lots of different options in here that we're presenting to people. Some of these may apply to them, some of them may not, but I think it opens up a conversation and I think it makes it for um, some interesting reading uh, for anybody who might be receiving this report. And then just going down, this is the same stuff we've uh, previously trained on. We have that heat map that shows where buyers are, are looking. So remember the darker the color, the more buyers activity is in that area. We're going to give them that price range and the number of bedrooms for those buyers. This is great if you have people who are right on the cusp. The difference between listing at $499.9 and $500 or $501 is the difference between almost 100,000 different buyer activities. Makes for a great pricing conversation, especially in this market. Buyer activity in the last 90 days, it's going to start to narrow it down based on Virginia all the way down to the actual address within a five-mile radius within the price range within bedrooms. Uh, that are pertaining to that house. And then, of course, that meat of this report is that we have, and here we have 10 potential buyers looking in this zip code. And again, we're only giving them these buyer IDs. They don't get any other additional information on this. Um, in order to get the information about these buyers, they would have to contact you. You would have to contact the agent. All of that information, of course, is anonymous um, on our side in the buy side system as well but it's a great report and again contacting you we're giving them those trends remember this is going to start to go against all of those different social posts and the email posts and all of the different things that we were talking about so this is really breaking down all the different components of this and just trying to encourage people to go look up their home's value because they may be interested in what's going on around them they may be interested in the equity component maybe they're interested in whether you know there are buyers really looking for homes like theirs that's where all of those different days of the week social posts come in uh just to try to cover all of these different aspects to try to encourage people to use buy side and then here's that nosy neighbor news that everybody loves recent nearby sales and again you can get a, a customized cma from your agent and then again we're asking them to sign up for the monthly report if they'd like to um, and that is the entirety of the report. Once they're signed up for the monthly report, they're going to basically go back to this page again um, with the link that they're going to get in their email. So it's basically just going to pull up a new instance of this every time. You also will get notified if they've taken a look. Um, might be great for opening that conversation if you've seen somebody who signed up for a monthly report, but maybe hasn't looked at that report in a number of months. That's okay. Maybe in October, they you see all of a sudden they've checked the value of their home. You know that that's where you start moving from an incubating client to a warm client. You might want to start sending them some information about selling their home or just pick up the phone and just check in with them just to see how they're doing. Maybe initiate that conversation. Did anybody have any questions before we wrap up today? Kristen? Yes. We had a few in the chat. All right. Um, Let me go to the chat and see what we have here. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me go back here. Okay, so we've covered that one. And yes, yeah, so Real Scout does provide evaluation, which many agents use. We're actually going to cover Real Scout in a future training as well. This is just one of our options that we have available to us. Um, where can we find the home value? Okay, you can find the home valuation on the page, but where do you find the link to post on social? Well, you can just copy that URL if you'd like to, but if you go to, um, let me reshare my screen here real quick. Uh, 
move you guys out of the way. If you are on RWT Connect, I'm already logged in and you click that buy side button right there. Oops. My sharing portion is right over top of the button that I need here. You'll go to this screen. This is where it's gonna log you in. This is your buy side dashboard right here. And you'll go to click that home value site right up at the top. And this is your marketing suite. So this is where if you need to get that link, if it's not available on your website or you don't have a um, site builder website for whatever reason um, and you need that link, you can certainly go ahead and click that. It will open up your home value site for you. You can copy and paste that link right there. Or just to make it nice and convenient, um, we do have the share on social media uh, button right here. So if you do click on that, it is going to give you those direct links to be able to share. It'll open up and you'll have to just follow the instructions to be able to share that on there. Oh gosh, lots of questions here. Hold on one second. Um, okay, so covered that one about the agents for the home valuation site. Is this through buy side? This is only through buy side, yes. Um, you will be able to get, I'm going to load this deck up to um, RWT Connect under the marketing tab um, as soon as we are finished here. And that way you can go ahead and get the information and the template pieces to this. Um, same thing, uh, RWT Connect, you'll go ahead and click the marketing button on the left hand side and you'll see something for Home Valuation Week 2024 and it'll be under that tab. Um, does the system prevent duplications? I already answered that one. Um, it does not, and we do that for a reason. And yep, yeah, and I've already answered that one about the monthly reports. Uh, da -da -da -da. So if the client clicks on learn more, uh, where does the client go at that point? So if you are on um, any of these buttons that say contact us or learn more or go anywhere. Um, all of this is going to go, all of these are designed to go to the agent. Anything that might be just for explanation purposes, something like this, how is this calculated? It's just going to pull up a pop up. But if I say contact us, it will go ahead and uh, pull in a, oops, component here. That's on the equity component. Let me go up to one of these here. So it's going to pop open a form to be able to contact you. So they'll be able to go ahead and put in more information on here anytime you see those buttons. Um, where will I find this training to watch again along with others that were recorded? You can go into rwtconnect.com at any time. And if you go over to coaching and training over here on the left hand side, actually it might be on the right hand side for you guys. Um, you will see two links. One is the training YouTube and the other one is the company training videos. Um, you can go over here and take a look at all of the different trainings that we've been given. You'll probably have to wait a day or two to get this one because it's gone over an hour. It's going to take a bit to process and load for us. If I have a potential seller who is currently getting a monthly report, do they receive all the new features added or do I need to add them again? No, if you have somebody signed up, they're automatically going to get this component. Um, it is built into everything that is old and new and going forward. If you see an owner check the valuation through an agent's website, does that info stay with the agent? In other words, does corporate give this lead to anyone else? If somebody checks their, um, I'm going to use Ralston as an example here. Um, I was on Ralston's home value site. It was branded to him. Um, and the only person who received the email about this was Ralston, that somebody checked the value. It doesn't mean that somebody can't go and check the value of their home on somebody else's website. That happens all the time. We see it in searching. We see it in lots of different things. But the only person who has received it from this particular um, uh, email, because it was on this agent's particular site was this particular agent. And I want you to notice, just I don't normally point out these technical things on here, um, but you'll see at the very top, even though it is, you know, kind of corporate branded here, this actually has the URL branding for the agent. So we actually know that it was for that particular agent. But when corporate reviews the information, do you then do anything with it? Um, not usually. Okay. Because there's really no actionable item for us to do anything against something that is just a home value request, essentially. So again, just like you, we, we're not entirely sure whether that is a somebody who um, has 
contacted uh, it might not be the owner it might not be whatever so we we're in kind of the same boat with that information we do really rely on the agents to make sure that they are following up in whatever way they want to i have some agents who follow up much more aggressively than others um some people just use that information it's just eh, nice to know um and others you know send a full bma report or they send a postcard or they send a, even a greeting card out to that particular address or again they blanket you know a small area of that neighborhood just trying to um figure out if that was the person who did it or not. So it's always good to use for your um, just general prospecting as well. I do like this as well. If you're getting, um, if you've sent out, for example, a uh, postcard to a specific neighborhood or a uh, niche market, whatever it happens to be, um, you can always use some of those geographical uh, digital ads as well. If you know that you're getting a lot of good response from a particular area, do not be afraid to drop that pin on top of that neighborhood to make sure that you're covering it digitally as well. So just don't forget that you have those options. And Kristen, if I can jump in on just a quick bit more on that answer. Uh, to answer the question about what does the company do, uh, get involved in these leads that are coming through. The company really has no interest in those that are coming through to the agent directly. The company does have these same tools on the company sites and uh, they will generate leads for the company's lead machines, uh, but not what comes through to the agent. All right, did anybody have any additional questions? These have been great questions today. I thank you so much. All right, um, if there are no further questions, and I, again, thank you for coming today. Thank you for being part of the live class. You got the sneak preview and all the brand new things that are coming out. Um, if you give us just a little bit, we'll have that deck loaded up into marketing, uh, into RWT Connect. And that way you can go ahead and get those social posts and email templates. And that way you can go ahead and use those this week. I am so anxious to see what the reporting looks like uh, at the end of the week on home value. I hope this uh, provides many listing opportunities for you. Uh, please go out and get your piece of the pie. Thank you so much.